day two guys I'm especially interested in this Toro what I'm gonna try to do is get that thing started all right guys I just got home this El Toro come on baby I already primed it well, it worked a minute ago oh I know what I gotta do prime it again all right here we go Let me follow up on uh, the lawnmower that uh, allegedly blew up. It did quit, so what I'm thinking, it ran good and I mowed a couple strips. I think the gas could be bad in it. So uh, I'm gonna probably have to drain it, maybe clean the carburetor. So I think that's gonna work, because the engine runs. So just a little humor there. But I'm at the storage facility. It's kind of a rainy day, but I'm not gonna let that stop me because I gotta be out here tomorrow. So I've got all the clothes from the unit in here. And we're going to take them over right now, and we're going to donate these to Wayside Christian Mission. Okay, like I said, I was dropping all the clothes off, and here they are. I'm at Wayside. All that crap back there wasn't mine. I just, somebody just dumped that. This is all good stuff. I bring good stuff up here. Lots of clothes on hangers. There's good ones, too, but nothing that we can use. And uh, just stuff. So let's go back to the storage unit. Let's go back there and look through the mystery tubs. All right, guys, I'm back in the storage unit after making the donation of the clothes, and you can see that it's so much easier to get in here and see what we're gonna do now. Most of the stuff I'm gonna keep is left here now. I'm putting together another donation that I'm gonna take up there, just uh, random stuff, stuff that's just gonna be in our way. So look at these snap-on tables, that's nice. We could sell those easy. And in this box here, I just opened it up. There's a lot of like chargers, batteries. Look, these are lit up. I think these are ear pods. Is that what they are? They're tribbits. Uh yeah, they're in there too. Let's see if I can open. Yeah. They probably need charging. I imagine those are good. And just more stuff here. I gotta take this and look closer. And uh, we've got four bar stools. Don't think they go to this table. I'm gonna take that and we're gonna see. I think we've got the other chairs that'll probably work with those that I took out of here yesterday. And uh, you know, we got the TV. I gotta be out of here tomorrow. So I got all today. And look, we got some confetti cannons. <laughs> I know they're. I thought they were fireworks at first. I was like, oh, hell yeah, we'll have a segment for the show or for the for the videos. I don't think I can do it live, but just it's a mess cannon. What can I say? You make a mess with the pots and pans. We'll donate the used pots and pans. And we sell the heck out of these uh, Haynes repair manuals. That'll be an easy sale up at the bookstore. All right, guys, I'm here again. I got the media center, I got the, the sliding door in there, I got the snap-ons, I got a couple of bags of stuff that go with this shark. But check it out, here's the bar, and behind it I found another big TV. So I got like a 50 inch and a 40 inch I guess, 50 or a 36, I don't know, 52, 38, I don't know. But look at that. And uh, here there's four bar stools, and here's the legs to this table, which matches these chairs. So that's another sale. Two good TVs, big DVD player, a very unique bar. Oh, and look at this. It's one of the lenticular kind of, it's for a bar scene. Uh, you can see me more than you can see this. Yeah, it's not showing up real well because it's, but it's cool. I got to be out here tomorrow, so I may come back and get some more today. I got to get my van for that, so I got to get stuff out of my van, and it's raining, of course. 
So what we're going to try to do is dig back here and get into the tubs. I wanted to show you this first. And uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, this is what we got left. Now I got to get this out by tomorrow. And my van's full of stuff. I'm kind of screwed, but I'll be all right because I always manage. And yeah, I showed you the bar, but I, I've got back here to the tubs. Now two of them are big coolers. This one on the top is just stuff I've been throwing in it. So we've got actually three tubs and two coolers here. So let's, I haven't looked in this one yet. Uh, oh. Tubs are worth a little bit. <laughs> you know when you say that. It's, so you've just got random kitchen items here. Uh, some dishes. Yeah, made in China. Okay. This set over here looks a little bit better, but they are uh, Crown Ming Fine China. Made in China. Okay. I would say mm, this one's tough. I'm going to call this one Zip. Zilch. <laughs> Zero. Nothing. Zip. Zilch. Zero. Okay. Now you know how I feel on that one. Alright. Let's see what we got here. I got a signed bat, but you know what those are worth. Pretty much zip and zilch if you can't figure out who's on it. Yeah, I mean, nobody can read this. I can't either. Uh, so, I don't know about that one now. But what else is in here? Uh-oh. That's probably personal crap. Let's see what's in here. This is interesting. I don't think they used it. That's just the stuff that plastic you put in there to keep it shape. Alright. Oh, what is that? Looks like it might be a portable something electronic. Yeah, I don't know. It's got batteries in it, but what does it do? Oh, it's an AM FM radio. Okay, well, that's what that is. That'll probably sell. Alright. Let's see what else we can find in here. I don't know what that is. We got a wig. And McGuire, 1999. And here you got, is that uh, Ozzy Smith maybe? I'm just guessing. I remember a little bit about, I'm not much of a sports fan anymore. And here is a uh, Whitey Herzog bobblehead, and he signed it, Whitey Herzog. Altered states and a Salvino's Bammers and a slingshot. So what we got here is some sports collectibles, it looks like. What's this? Kurt Warner 2002 edition. Babe Ruth books, Cardinal books. I can sell all this stuff. This stuff I could sell. 
and we got a baseball. Uh, Cardinals baseball. Okay. And then you saw the, oh, you have this McGuire headliners. Includes certificate of authenticity. Oh, come on. That's so stupid. Maybe it's worth something. And a genuine hand painted bobblehead doll. Uh, J.D. Drew. What did he draw? And I showed you Kurt Warner. There's a bunch of baseballs down here. I don't think those are signed, but I think they're probably official baseballs. I'll be, I'll be damned. This was wrapped in money. This knife was wrapped in money. Venezuelan money. Got a Got a feeling their money ain't worth nothing. There's a Diaz and a 20. Okay, 30 bucks. I don't think it's 30 bucks, but an interesting little knife that was a Venezuela knife. Okay, this is a good tub here. And, oh, that's somebody. Picture of somebody in there. I can't show you that. So this tub was good. Let's see if I missed anything. Yeah, that's a good tub. All this stuff we can sell. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I got the bottom one. The bottom left corner of storage un units or the bottom right or somewhere in the back typically can be the, re the best stuff. I got some sports collectibles in the last tub on top of it. This is the one in the very back. If I'm going to find any killer items, in addition to what I've already found, it could be in here. So, let's manifest something valuable here. <laughs> oh, good Lord, but you never know. You never know. Okay, we're going to be careful here. Now, you got to... Let me show you this. Okay, it's a machete. It's the third machete we found. It's a few dollars, but that's not the that's not the killer item we're looking for. What we want is jewelry. Uh, some books. Uh, a hat. Now uh, you pack that's a zip. Wait a minute, there's nothing. Zip. Oh, good. These repair manuals. That's the second one. I get money for these. These are good. Okay. More of the better. Oh, snap on tool. Oh, yeah. This is one of their dogalogs or catalogs. Yeah, those are dog logs. Oh, these are good. I could sell these books, but these aren't the killers. The killer items. There's still a couple of more to look through. Eh, there's a belt. Okay, that's... No, that's not what that looks like. Wow. Let's take a good look at this bar. Check it out, guys. I'm here to grab this right now. This is so cool. So, uh, yeah, what do you think of that thing? That's right, that's nice. And it's fully stocked because I found all the booze that was in it. But I don't drink that kind of stuff, so, but this is gonna sell. Is there any doubt in your mind? I haven't even cleaned it up yet. That's just got a nice look. I open this one up, there's a bunch of like disc golf discs, a DeWalt drill, a 
Carhartt hat and an extension cord. But the best thing that was in that one is this Craftsman compression tester. And it's every, it's it's all here. So whatever that's worth is good. That hurt too. That's pretty good, right? All right. What's this? Candles. They're, oh, I bet you that's kitchen knives or something like that. Oh no, that's a hmm. relay test jumpers. Relay test. Relay test jumpers. So that might have a little bit of value. Don't know. So. I gotta get to work. So I'm gonna take a load home and come back. So, uh, like and share and subscribe. Do all those good things for the channel. You know, they help the algorithm, especially when you like. And uh, you'll wanna subscribe, I guess, because you watched it this far. And uh, you'll wanna see when I'll upload more. We got a little bit of a variety channel. Mostly we're about storage auctions. We do a live stream every Sunday called Storage Auction Insanity. Sometimes we call it Storage Auction Cat Sanity because we love cats and we show the cat videos. Us and the Storage Bandits who are my co-hosts. We've been doing the show for about a year. Every Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, yeah, come by, swing in sometime. And I'll see ya.